Hey there, board gamers. Brandon Darcel, the board game brother here, and today I'm bringing you my very first board game review. And I'm really glad that it's of this game right here, Stipulations. It's a game that's so new, it's not even out yet. It's currently in production on Kickstarter, but that didn't stop me from getting a test copy of that game, and I'm about to give my two cents right now. The creator of the game, Dustin Bloom, actually lives right here in my hometown. So I made a call and BAM! I got a test copy of this sucker and was able to play it over the weekend. So shout out to Dustin for hooking a brother up. Stipulations is a party game by Blacklight Games that plays four to eight players ages 13 and up and takes about 45 minutes or so to play. In the game, each player will take turns acting as an announcer. The announcer reaches into the stipulations deck and selects a card and reads one of the four options written on the back side. Now, these options represent things that would be really cool if they happened to you. Uh, so one of them might be a superpower or an infinite supply of something. One might be a perfect job or the realization of a dream. At this point, it is every other player's job to create and write down a stipulation on that chosen option to make it the least awesome and as undesirable as possible. For example, the announcer may select a uh, endless supply of friends as their option. Some of the other players may write endless supply of friends that will never give you any moment of privacy or that all the friends are imaginary or an endless supply of friends, but none of them like board games. Yo, homie, that ain't funny. And that's exactly what makes this game fun. Uh, hearing all of these different crazy stipulations that people come up with and having the time of your life. During the laughs and the jokes and the tears of pure joy that are going to happen when you play this game, the announcer will select the least desirable stipulation and award the player who wrote it their card. The announcer will then reach into the bonus deck and receive a bonus card and award it to a player based on the text written on the back. For instance, this card says, award this card to the player who wrote the funniest stipulation. And there's tons of other bonus card conditions in the deck. Another player will then become the announcer and play will continue until each player has become the announcer twice. At the end of the game, whoever has the most cards in front of them wins. I loved it, loved it. Though I enjoy a geeked out strategy board game as much as any other board game geek out there, I also love really good party games. And what makes a really good party game is a game that's easy to play, gets everybody laughing, and at the end of the game, everyone leaves feeling like they've had a great time and they keep talking and talking about it. And Stipulations does just that. If you are a person who does not enjoy party games, then this might not be the game for you. Though I do say give it a shot. There's something to be said about a game that is not purely competitive. It's a fun game that gets you interacting and being social with people and having a great time. And Stipulations is the game that will set that kind of mood off. If you're looking for a fantastic, fun, amazing party game, then you don't need to look any further. Stipulations is the game for you. I rate it on the shelf, not in the closet. On the shelf games are games that you play all the time. You're grab and go games. You want them easily accessible because you like them that much. And then you have your in the closet games. You kind of got to dig it out of the closet. Maybe not as fun. You got to dust it off. You know, <laughs> stipulations, that's not this game. Okay, it does not belong in the closet. 
it belongs on the shelf, so put it on the shelf. For all the deets on this awesome party game, check out the Facebook page. I'll leave a link in the comment section below and definitely look out for this game on Kickstarter. And let's get this game out in the universe. We need this in the gamer ether. That's my review. I'll see you all next time. Board Game Brother, out.